Good afternoon. Welcome to Thursday, January 11th. I, uh, I've been at my job a little over a year, year and some change, whatever. And, uh, of course it started with like a month and a half or whatever of training and then I go into my schedule and I've been on a rotation, which means I have two weeks in a row where I have, um, Let's say uh, Thursday and Friday off. And then the next two weeks are uh, Tuesday and Wednesday off, which means there's between that Thursday and that Tuesday, there's only three days. So it's a three day long work week before another weekend. And then the next week is, uh, and then, you know, two of those. And then there's um, two weeks of Sunday, Saturday off, which means that, okay, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Uh, so what is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so uh, that's three days, and then a one-day weekend, and then five days on a weekend, five days, one-day weekend, four days before it basically resets. Um, and it's just been a constant loop. Now, the job I had before that, I was working two part-time jobs, one of which still hasn't finished paying me more than a year since I've been gone. Story for another time. Uh, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> was working for a not so great place and then a fine place I was working at, at Sam's basically doing uh, samples uh, event specialist um, and but as an event specialist at Sam's you worked weekends so I got no weekends off no Sundays off and so this job has been better in that at least I get a third of the Sundays off so I get to go to church a third of the time and not just Sundays but weekends it's like I, 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 I want Sundays off but really I like weekends Especially in the summer when I want to go garage sailing and, and have it be easier to go to the Muni and that kind of thing. Uh, Saturdays are nice as well. But at the very least, Sundays um, has been something I've wanted. And, and I've sort of looked at this as this is better than nothing. And so I've been on the rotation for more than a year. Now, about halfway through last year, a new class came out of training with set schedules. Ooh, a new thing. So we're all like, wait, what? They're like, don't worry. Next month you can start, you know, basically bidding on it. Now, once you get a set schedule, you cannot go back to a rotation, and they're awarded based on performance and and who wants whatever is available. Um, and so they're having specific schedules with different times based on filling their needs. Now, I looked at my schedule with the rotation, and I had Christmas off in December, so I decided, no, I'm not doing it. And I had Christmas off. And that was worthwhile, and I appreciated it. I was glad for that. And then starting with January, I, I tried to get a schedule with Sundays off. And basically, people with better performance got, you know, also one of the same schedules. So, no. But, I also went now for February. And I got an email today. Congratulations, Adam. You have been awarded a new schedule, which will take effect on January 28th. So basically, the end of the this month, that where the majority of the week is next month. Um, and that will be Saturday, Sunday off. I will have a set schedule, so no more three-day-long work weeks, but also no more one-day weekends. And a one-day weekend is not enough, I tell you. It does not count. You, you just start to relax, and then you're back at work. So, I am okay with that. I will do without my uh, three-day long weekends, or week uh, weekday, you know, three-day long, three long, three long weeks are nice, but not worth it if you have to have one-day long weekends occasionally to balance it out. Um, the schedule will actually be different. I've currently been working um, 6.30 to 3, um, and this will be 7.15 to 3.45, so it's 45 minutes forward, but I'm thinking, hoping that it's still early enough that I can avoid traffic. Because the only reason I, I want something, you know, earlier than the typical 9 to 5 is I want to avoid traffic. Because during training, we had normal 9 to 5, basically, and there was traffic. A lot of traffic. Uh, and I'm like, hmm, if I get this weird schedule, I can save 45 minutes of my day that I would otherwise be spending in a car get home much sooner, get to work much sooner. So hopefully this is still early enough to avoid most of that. Um, if not, I'll have to just keep trying to get one that's a little earlier. If it is, then I actually like it better because that 
you know, lets me shift my schedule a little later, not have to be in bed quite as early. <laughs> 9.45 feels a lot later than 9, as far as when I have to be, be sleeping. Um, but yeah, so that starts the end of this month. I still have this upcoming Saturday is a one-day weekend. Then I'll have a couple weeks with uh, uh, Thursday, Friday off. Then I'll get a one-day long week, work week, a one-day weekend as I enter the first day of this, and I'll be off. But my schedule's changing, and I think it's going to be for the better. Um, so I'm happy about it. I'm so happy. I was originally thinking, gee... I haven't taken a day off vlogging for a long time, and I'm so far behind. Maybe I won't do anything today. It's not going to be exciting, but I got this email at work, and I'm like, yeah, no. I'm, that's, that is a topic worth discussing. So, <laughs> another day of vlogs. <laughs> it hurts so bad. I just cut an onion because I'm making onions and potatoes. And it hurts my eyes. They sting. It's so terrible. Oh, no. <laughs> Doused my face with water, and it, it gets better really quick. Now, I think, compared to the amount of potato I have, I don't have enough onion. And that's because, basically, the reason I'm doing this is the potatoes, some of those are starting to grow, the onions... Some of those are starting to grow. So things are going bad. Uh, so I need to use them. So I pretty much I separated out what's bad and what's good. The potatoes I got more recently than the onions. Now I could find another onion that I could use. I just had to peel off a bunch of layers of the onion because there was stuff on it. So basically I could find one other one, peel it down. But after doing that, I'm thinking, rather than that, it's just me. I'm probably just going to reduce the recipe a bit and not use all of the potato. Uh, <laughs> or maybe you'll make it a little extra potato heavy or whatever I may do. Because I don't want to cut an onion. Especially not when it's thinly sliced. When it's big chunks for onion rings, it's not so bad. But when you happen to cut it that thin, and, and pretty much the way I do it is I just start cutting and I just let my eyes well up with you know, water up and then... You can't see, but it's not so bad. Um, but when you're cutting really thin, it would help to see. Because you're really close to your fingers. <laughs> okay, I gotta look up the rest of the recipe. I got things cut now. Alright, so I got those frying up in some butter. And I microwaved up some of the fried chicken that I got at Walmart the other day that I have left over. Um, basically cut up enough to have for lunch tomorrow and black ribbon the bits around it you know basically the bits that aren't easy to cut off while it's cold um yeah i get it you're done to have now uh that's got another five or ten minutes on the potatoes though so but yeah we'll see how it turns out mm -hmm. starting to look good at the very least we'll see how it tastes I'm having a pretty good dinner here. I got, um, like I said, scraps of chicken that uh, were left over from what was easy to cut off. It's easier to break apart when it's hot, but I don't want to heat it up, break it apart, pack it up, make it cold again so I can heat it up at work tomorrow. So I cut off what was easy and heated up what wasn't. Uh, and then uh, potatoes and onions. Um, look good. Tastes good too. I did good. It was a, a lot of butter. I didn't have all the ingredients the recipe called for, so I just added some extra butter and figured that'd make up for the flavor. It's probably bad for me, but it tastes good. So I just braved the cold outside to take out the trash. Really, because I wanted to get things like the potatoes and onions out. As well as much of the other just garbage. So there was a bunch of food garbage. Whether it's just all, you know, paper plates and such, or whatever it may be. <clears throat> but, it was 60 degrees earlier today, it is now freezing rain. Now my complex seems to be doing pretty good at keeping things salted, I didn't slip. But, things that weren't like road or sidewalk, like the 
dumpster itself coated in ice. It was 60 degrees for most of the day. It's now below freezing and plummeting. And the rain is freezing as it falls. And, ah. Oh, Missouri weather, eh? But, uh, but I got the trash out before it got too bad. I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay, it's just dropped below freezing. It's just starting to be an issue. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna brave it. <laughs> uh, part of the reason I cooked even was because I, I, I told my mom, I was like, um, not going out to get something. She was even like, you can just come pick stuff up from the house. We have extra food. I was like, no, not driving anywhere <laughs> until I have to. Um, but the food I made ended up good. Those potatoes were good. And in case you're curious, or maybe just in case future me says, Come on, Adam, how'd you make that? That was good. And it's like four-ish potatoes sliced thin. One onion that ended up being pretty small, but could have been bigger, sliced thin. Um, and then it's like three quarters of a stick of butter. And melt that in the pot. Pour in some oil. Uh, whatever, the olive oil. Um... Let that get a little hot, and then just pile in all the potatoes, onions, etc. Um, and I turned them once just to kind of get them decently coated, covered the pot, and let it go for 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, I opened it, I flipped everything upside down so that the browned edges were up. Um, and I added a small, just sort of spoon bit of the garlic stuff, like the liquidy garlic it comes in the jar in the refrigerator and a decent amount of uh, whatever uh, ground uh, salt and pepper uh, and then I for another five minutes cooked it without a lid turning it over a few times uh, during that and if you say gee Adam that's not a very precise recipe no I just kind of made it up as I went I, I had I had I had a found a recipe online but it had extra ingredients and steps and I was just like mm, I took most I took what I had from there and I just kind of went with it <laughs> and it worked out it was good uh, definitely good with the increasing the butter uh, I think I think that had a lot to do with it yeah butter's good but yeah so that was a pretty good potato dish. Managed to use up what I could of the potatoes and onions that were pretty much going bad and then throw away the rest. Uh, so that was nice. I haven't done any editing today. Or uploading. Or nothing. I probably will. It's like only 6.30 at this point, but it's kind of weird to have said I'm like, hmm, I haven't done that yet. Usually I'm all stressed out about it. Oh well. About an hour before real bedtime. But I'm pretty much going to bed now. Could probably take some ibuprofen or something. My throat's been killing me. Now I got a job where I do a lot of talking. I'm on the phone all day. And uh, today I pretty much lived on ibuprofen and, and cough drops. Been feeling cruddy. Praying I get over it soon and it doesn't get worse. We're probably way down. Maybe get a little extra sleep, maybe that'll help. Take some ibuprofen. Yeah. Just a cruddy feeling. Thanks for joining me. Join me as my journey continues. Bye.